In this class, we are going to discuss about nines and tens complements. Generally, we will use this nines and tens complements in uh, BCD subtraction, which is we are going to discuss in uh, next classes. Now, we will discuss nines and tens complement. First of all, we will discuss about nines complement. So, what is meant by nines complement? How we will get nines complement means? So, first of all, this is also an uh, odd complement like ones and fifteens complement. So, this is also an odd complement. So, nines complement of any number can be obtained by subtracting each and every digit of that decimal number from nine. Uh, as we are doing in fifteens complement, same we are doing here. So, to get any nines complement, you are subtracting each and every digit of that number by nine. So, for example, if you want to get nines complement of a decimal number twenty-eight, you are having a decimal number twenty-eight, and if you want to get any nines complement for that, you need to subtract each and every digit of this decimal number from nine. So here, nine minus eight. Is equal into one here, and nine minus two is equal into seven here. So seventy one is the nines complement of twenty eight. If you want any B C D code nines complement of this B C D twenty eight, then you you are getting like this. So what is the B C D code for seven? So B C D for seven is equal into Zero triple one, and B C D for one is equal into triple zero one. So what we are doing in B C D is we are writing code for each and every digit separately, not like in binary. In binary we are adding all two powers and we are making only single code. Here for each and every digit we are having separate code. This may be easy to get B C D. For example, anyone asked you in B C D subtraction what is the nines complement of B C D number? For example, anyone given you twelve is your B C D number. So you have to find nines complement of this B C D twelve. Then up to a y, we just treat this as a decimal. So take this twelve as decimal equivalent. And you just subtract each and every digit from nine. So nine minus two is seven. Nine minus one is eighty-seven. Eighty-seven may be the nines complement of B C D twelve. This you need to take in terms of B C D code. For eight, the B C D is one triple zero. You just take eight four two one as reference. That's it. For each and every digit, you need to take eight four two one at top set. Only you are having one. At eight place means this is equivalent to eight. Similarly for seven, so zero triple one four plus two plus one seven. So this is the nines complement of B C D twelve. So in the same way we can get tens complement also. Tens complement of any B C D number can be obtained by adding one to the nines complement of B C D number. For example, if you want to find out tens complement of same twenty-eight, previously we found nines complement for this one. If you want to find out tens complement of this twenty-eight, first of all you need to find nines complement as it is nine minus eight one and nine minus two seven. Seventy-one will be the nines complement of twenty-eight, but we need to find out the tens complement to get the tens complement of this twenty-eight. You need to add another one here. So now one plus one is equal to two. Here seven. Seventy-two will be the tens complement of B C D number twenty-eight. Now you have to take the B C D code for this seventy-two. Then you are getting exact B C D code for nines complement of twenty-eight. For seven you have to take zero triple one. For two, you need to take double zero one zero. So this is the tens complement of twenty eight. So in the same way, we can found any nines and tens complement of any B C D number. These nines and tens complement of B C D numbers are very much useful in B C D subtraction process.